Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA Network Plus series. In today's video we will study the network protocols. So let's get started. So the question number one in today's video is that what is the function of FTP? FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And the options are email service, directory service, serving of web pages or file exchange. And the correct option is file exchange. So as the name indicates the file transfer protocol. So this is used for file exchange between a client and a server. So as this diagram indicates that here we have an FTP client such as a laptop and then an FTP server. So the protocol that is used to transfer files between this laptop and the server is known as the FTP or file transfer protocol. The question number two is that a network protocol for secure file transfer over secure shell SSH is called and the options are TFTP, SFTP, Telenet and FTPS and the correct option is SFTP or secure FTP or secure fire transfer protocol. So this is the secure version of the FTP. And this diagram shows the difference between the FTP and the SFTP. In the FTP, the file is transferred unencrypted while, the, while in the SFTP, the plain text is encrypted before exchange between the file and the server. So here we can see that using the encryption the plain text is changed to cipher text when the file is transferred from the, lab, the client to the server and in the same manner, the reverse manner, the, uh, the server also encrypts the plain text to cipher text when transferring it over the internet or any other public media. The question number three is that what is a telenet and we have to select three correct options and the correct options are so the telenet is used to provide username and password authentication and the telenet transmits data in an unencrypted form and the last correct option is that it enables remote login and command execution. Question number four is that the SMTP or simple mail transfer protocol is used for and we have to select two answers and the options are sending email messages between mail servers, name resolution services, serving up web pages, retrieving mail messages from mail servers and sending mail messages from a client device and the correct options are that it is used for sending mail messages between mail servers and sending email messages from a client device. So these are the two correct options. Question number five is that which of the following answers refers to a system containing mappings of domain names to various type of data such as numerical IP addresses. And the options are TCP, IP, DNS, SQL, and DHCP. And the correct option is DNS or domain name system. So this is used to map domain names such as www. Let's suppose we have a domain name www.example.com. So the DNS is used to map this domain name to an IP address, for example, 192.168.10.100. Question number six is that a network protocol providing an alternative solution to the manual allocation of IP addresses is called, and the options are DNS, SNMP, NAT, and DHCP. 
and the correct option is the DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So the name Dynamic indicates that this is the alternative to the manual allocation of IP addresses. Using DHCP we can dynamically allocate and assign IP addresses to the clients. Question number 7 is that what are the characteristic features of TFTP and TFTP stands for again Trivial File Transfer Protocol and we have to select two answers and the options are that it provides no security features. Option 2 is that it is typically used for exchanging files over the internet. Option 3 is that it is a very basic form of file sharing protocol. Option 4 is that it provides authentication and encryption. And option number 5 is that it is a directory access protocol. And the correct options are that it provides no security features such as in the same manner such uh, that in the same manner as the FTP. FTP also provides no security features and again it is a very basic form of file sharing protocol. So these are the two correct options. Question number eight is that which network protocol enables retrieving contents of an internet page from a web server? And the options are SNMP, HTTP, SMTP and IMAP. And the correct option is HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And it is used to retrieve content of an internet page from a web server such as when we type www.google.com inside our web browser then the protocol used to retrieve that web page is HTTP or the secure version is HTTPS. Question number 9 is that POP3 is used for and the options are name resolution, sending email messages, file exchange or file retrieval and the correct option is email retrieval. So POP3 is used for email retrieval. Question number 10 is that which of the answers listed below refers to a network protocol used for synchronizing clock over a computer network? And the options are NTP, VTP, NNTP or RTP. And the correct option is NTP and the NTP stands for network time protocol. So it is used to synchronize clocks over the or a network. Question number 11 is that a type of protocol used in network management system for monitoring network attached devices is known as and the options are SMB, NTP, SNMP and RDP. And the correct option is the SNMP or simple network management protocol. This is used for the management or monitoring of network attached devices on a network. And question number 12 is that LDAP is an example of and the options are authentication protocol, address resolution protocol, directory access protocol or file exchange protocol. And the correct option is directory access protocol. And the LDAP stands for lightweight directory access protocol. So the name clearly indicates that this is a directory access protocol. Question number 13 is that what is the name of a network protocol that secures web traffic using SSL or TLS encryption and the options are SFTP, HTTPS, FTPS or SNMP and the correct option is yes HTTPS. So this is the secure version of HTTP that is used to secure web traffic over the internet using the SSL and TLS encryption. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन इज दैट वट आर दी करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एस एम बी और सिफ्स एंड वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट ऑल द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन आर दैट एस एम बी एंड सिफ्स प्रोवाइड शेयर एक्सेस टू फाइल्स डायरेक्ट्रीज एंड डिवाइस एंड इट इज यूज मेनली बाई कंप्यूटर रनिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इज दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आंसर रेफर्स टू एन एस एस एल एंड टी एल एस बेस्ड डायरेक्ट्री एक्सेस प्रोटोकॉल इन द ऑप्शन आर एच डॉट थ्री टू थ्री पॉइंट टू पॉइंट आर पी पी टी पी करबरोस आर एल डेप्स एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज एल डेप्स सो दिस इज सिक्योर वर्जन ऑफ एल डेप Yeah, here S stands for secure. So this is the secure version of LDAP, and it provides SSL and TLS-based encryption to use directory access protocol. Question number sixteen is that which of the following answer refers to a Microsoft proprietary remote access protocol providing a user with graphical interface for connecting to a to another remote computer over a network and the options are rdp ssh vnc or telnet and the correct option is rdp or remote desktop protocol so this is used this is a microsoft proprietary protocol and it is used to connect to a remote computer using graphical interface or a network and this uh, protocol typically has a port number 3389 question number 17 is that which of the answer listed below refers to a secure replacement of telnet so we already study that telnet is used for remote authentication for connecting to a remote device and it is used to authenticate via username and password and the correct options are the options are chap challenge handshake uh, handshake authentication protocol ftp snmp or ssh and the correct option is yes ssh secure shell so this is the secure replacement of telnet telnet is it sends data in unencrypted form unencrypted data is sent over the network while the ssh it is secure and use encryption to send, to authenticate to a remote device using username and password question number 18 is that which of the following answers refers to a protocol used by routers host and network devices to generate error messages and troubleshoot problems with delivery with the delivery of ip packets in the option are ccmp RSTP ICMP and SNMP and the correct option is ICMP or internet control message protocol so this is a helping protocol with ip address and this gives error codes and error messages when there is some problem with the delivery of uh, data and this protocol is used by router host and network devices and give the client or the user information about the problem over the network the question number 19 is that which part of the ipsec protocol suit provides authentication and integrity in the options are crc ah seem and aes and the correct option is ahr authentication header a it stands for authentication header so as the name indicates this provides authentication as well as integrity 
and this uh, protocol is used by the IPsec protocol suits. IPsec is used for VPN or the internet. Question number 20 is that which part of IPsec provides authentication, integrity and confidentiality and the options are AES, SHA, AH and ESP and the correct option is ESP or encryption. ESP stands for, um, let me guess, encryption Okay, I will uh, make a note of this and tell you people later in the comments. So, this protocol provides authentication, integrity plus confidentiality while the AH, it only provides authentication plus integrity. So, the ESP additionally provides confidentiality as well as authentication and integrity. The question number 21 is that which of the IPsec modes provide entire packet encryption and the options are tunnel, payload, transport or default and the correct option is tunnel. So in the uh, tunnel mode the IPsec encrypts the entire packets. By entire packets we mean the data plus the IP header or the IP address of the client. Question number 22 is that an IPsec mode providing encryption only for the payload or the data part of the packet is known as and the options are protected mode, tunnel mode, transparent mode and safe mode and the correct option is transparent mode. So, in the tunnel mode we study that the whole packet including the data as well as the IP address is encrypted while in transparent mode only the payload or data part is encrypted while the IP address is visible or transparent. So, that's all for today. I hope you people have learned something from today's video. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you and bye.